Hello, I'm going to show you my LG 360 camera. I've been making some 360 videos and of course it's taken me a while to figure out the camera because they don't come with instructions. You get your camera and your data cord. That's it. So here's the LG camera. Pretty small. Fits in your pocket. Of course we're going to turn it on by just pressing the button, holding it. Letting go. And it's on. To put it in sleep mode, you would just hold the button. It's in sleep mode. You keep holding it and it shuts it off. That took me a while to figure out. But let's go ahead and turn it back on. There you go. Of course, it comes with the little cap can be used as a tripod as well. So first thing you want to do is download your LG 360 app which is the 360 cam manager and you open it up. It's going to ask you to connect by Bluetooth. You just hit yes. Of course my Bluetooth is already turned on. Of course it can't connect right now. Let's hit retry. retry sometimes it takes a while <laughs> all right let's hit cancel let's turn off Bluetooth exit the app start over <laughs> Bluetooth permission, yes. Turning on Bluetooth. Connecting. Okay. Change password, I'll do it later. So you got three buttons on your app. Your settings app. That's your Wi-Fi password. You can set the sleep to five minutes, two minutes, and so on. That's about it. Then you have your gallery. So once you take a picture, let's go ahead. All you do is hit the button one time. It just took a picture. So then we go to the gallery. View the picture. And here it is. 360. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. To do a video you press and hold the button that's it red light blinking shut the video off hit it one time you're done puts it into the gallery pretty simple and you got two tabs 360 cam and my device and that's the ones I have loaded on my gallery on my phone now you can't upload your pictures from your phone to Facebook you have to do it from a PC if there's a way to do it from the phone, I haven't figured it out yet. So here's a picture I took. Where is that? The other day, we were at the park. 360. There's me. There's William. Pretty simple. There's another setting. The top one which is camera mode now if you want to set it up on a tripod take a picture of a room maybe you're in real estate you set it up on a tripod hit this setting camera then it's going to open the app up no I don't want to tag the photos you simply walk out the room take a picture and then of course your body would not be in the photo. If you want to mount it to your car, on top of the car, go down to the beach. You can control it from inside your car, simply in the camera mode. You can take a video or a camera shot. 
and it will upload it into your gallery. That's the one we just took. There we go. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to show you how to download the photos and upload them to Facebook or either YouTube from the PC. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to hook up the LG 360 cameras with the USB cable to download our files. Of course, it pops up automatically. Go to the camera. I've got several here. Let's go ahead and just take one picture, download it to the desktop, and a short video. Here's the five second one we took earlier. And then what you're going to need to do is download the LG 360 Cam Viewer. I'm going to have links provided in the description. If it will open, there you go. And then you simply drag and drop the photo. There's me and William. We're at Battleship Texas on the battleship. And that's it. The, vid the pictures are easy. You have a share button. Facebook. I haven't figured out Google Plus yet. I know Facebook and YouTube the only one who support 360. Google Photos, if they're in Google Photos, you can view them as 360, but posting them to Google Plus, I haven't figured it out. And you simply just, like normal, photo and video, and then you're good to go. I'm not going to post it. <clears throat> and you can view your 360 picture on Facebook only in supported browsers. I know Internet Explorer, you cannot do it. Google Chrome, you're good. Microsoft Edge, you're good. Firefox, you're good. And with the videos, <clears throat> it could take five or ten minutes to process this one won't take long because it's only five seconds no I don't want to add a logo to it and now it's just gonna process the video and it's gonna create a another file for the video and it's putting it here it always has result in the title so you're gonna have your original in the new one it creates and the new one you create that's the one you can post to Facebook and then once it processes this is only five second video so it shouldn't take long I've had some take forever to download <coughs> and then once it's done you can play it we're in light blinking <laughs> shut the video off and that's us earlier. So you have that video. And you just post it to Facebook and you can view it. Now if you want to do YouTube, you're going to have to download a metadata injector. And I'm going to have a link for that as well. You would just simply open it up. Any day now. <laughs> and it's going to come up like this. You're going to hit open. You're going to pick the, the file it just created. With the result name in it. You're going to open it. You're going to check my video. It's 360. And you're just going to inject metadata. Then it's going to create another file. You can name it whatever. But it's just going to have injected in it. I just hit save. And it says save to. You close it out. Now you have three files. 
And this one here is the one that you can upload to YouTube. And that's pretty much it. I'm still practicing with my camera. I know there's different ways of doing things, but that's how I do it. I use another program to edit my 360 videos, but we're not going to go into that right now. But I use Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. To edit my 360 videos. Maybe I will do a. Video on that as well. But for now. YouTube and Facebook. We've covered that. Pretty simple. Once you figure it out. It took me. Probably a week to figure out. Because there's really no instructions. I think four or five YouTube videos. I've watched. Researched the internet. And it just boils down to the. Two programs that support the 360, YouTube and Facebook. And right now, that's all I have to show you. Thanks for watching.